I am seated with a one-year-old art prodigy who is aiming at breaking the record for being the youngest male artist. Okay, yes, he's already showing himself. You can see him, and I'm talking about Ace Liam. Apparently, he really loves uh, balls, the Christmas decorations on Christmas trees. So the balls you see, he's trying to get one. Okay, yeah. That, so that's Ace Liam, ladies and gentlemen. He's behind the couch trying to get a Christmas ball. But I am here with his mother also, Chantel. Uh, Ace Liam apparently started painting from six months, when he was six months old. And um, now he's been given the go-ahead by Guinness World Records yes. to try and beat that challenge by one Dante, Dante Lamb, who did so in 2003. In 2003. So Dante Lamb is currently the record holder for the youngest male artist, uh, but our one-year-old Ace Liam here is doing his best to break the record and set his own. Chantel, yes. briefly, briefly, how exactly did you get your one-year-old son on board this? Okay, so because I'm an artist myself, okay. when he was around six months, I decided to engage him. He's not really the iPad kid type of child. Oh. He won't take an iPad or your phone and be watching cartoons for long hours. Okay. He wants in human interactions. And if I want to do my paintings, I was finding a way of engaging him. So I put him on the canvas, gave him some paint, and he created this, he blended all the colors, and I was like, I think this little boy is up to something. Mm. So then I started giving him more paint and encouraging him, and he created more artworks through that. Mm -hmm. So after um, Hilda Bassi did her, um, attempt. Yeah, I went on the Guinness World Record page, and I realized that there's a record for then youngest. It means he artists. wasn't one then. He yes, he was about ten months ten when months. I applied for him. Okay. So when you apply, it takes five months to get approval. Yeah. Okay. Yes, so more. right around the time Ifwa had her approval in November, mm -hmm. we also had our approval. Yes, too. yes, because I remember we were actually talking about both of you hand in hand. Yes. Yeah. It's, oh wow. <laughs> so there's going to be a showdown on here. <laughs> By Ace Liam. So we were doing the both of you at that time. So when did the painting start? When did it actually start? The official attempt? Um, his official attempt started, so he's supposed to do an art exhibition. Yes. Not like a live painting marathon. Yeah. So his exhibition started on the 15th of December and it's ending 21st January. Okay. So there's going to be live coverage from Lifestyle TV that day. Okay. And I'm hoping Joy Prime will we'll definitely also come. be there. Oh, thank we'll you so much. Be there. So there's going to be that live coverage to climax his whole exhibition where we are inviting people to come and witness because people have purchased his artwork. That's his um, criteria. He's supposed to exhibit and then sell his works. And within the first week of the exhibition, all his paintings that were on sale. How many were on display? Ten were on display. Ten but and all went in one week. No, I'm not putting the six month old painting he did on sale. So we put only nine on sale. Oh. which is from when he was eight months up until one year, four months. For the six-month one, I'm keeping it for him. When he's older, he can uh, do as he pleases. So all these ones are originals. Original. Originals. Yes. And then within a week uh, after the exhibition started, yes. all nine were sold. All nine were sold. It was so, from buyers from, we had Ghanaians, we had people from the U.S., we had people from U.K. and even Canada purchasing his work. So after all these paintings have been sold, what next? What are you doing next? So what are you replacing them with? Replacing for the exhibition. To no, so that running. I explained to the buyers that because he's breaking the Guinness World Record, his paintings need to remain on display up until the exhibition ends. So currently they are sold, but they are just hanging there with the red dots marked, so oh. people can still look at the artworks. I see. So it's ending on the 21st, 21st of yes. January. Yes. But all the art pieces have been have sold. Have been sold. <laughs> hey, but one thing, when one, thing, can, come. <laughs> one thing about yes, exhibitions bro. is even when the artworks um, sell, sometimes you have the buyers immediately want to, who want to remove it. So there's always three paintings on standby like this. So these are some of the works you see at the exhibition during the climax. So if people still want to purchase an artwork, they have the option to also buy these ones here right now. Okay, so I'm actually expecting to see a name like Ace Liam somewhere so that we know that yes, you, you get what I'm trying to so say? So he signs with his palm. With his palm. At the back of the canvas. Right. That's his signature. 
This is incredible. Thank this is incredible. You. How is everything going so far? So far, so good. We have some sponsors who have come on board, but we still need some sponsorship too to get this smoothly running. So if people still want to sponsor him and then make history with us, we are also calling on them to do that as well. Where, is, where are the arts paintings exhibited? It's at the Museum of Science and Technology, mm -hmm. opposite Ethel Tigo, around Accra City Campus. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, briefly, uh, you know, very, very briefly, since you started, what are some of the main challenges that you faced with, with the whole exhibition? Uh, you know, being an artist as well, I was exhibiting on the Sound Out platform. Yeah, so the yeah. exhibitors are Sound Out yeah. and it's sponsored by Ghana Exports and Portrait oh, Authority. Yeah. So planning an exhibition and then including him now, I'm doing it for both people. So everything I'm doing, it's double the work. Oh. So that's the only aspect but now we have a team i brought on a team my friends who are willing to support just to get off some of the workload so i think it was challenging in the beginning but now i think we are on track to <laughs> doing this Chantal, thank you so thank much you all too. the best you're waiting for the 21st of january that will definitely be there we'll definitely come and support thank you joy will be there to support and so fingers crossed ace liam is going to end up being the youngest male artist in the entire world that will be highly recognized by guinness world records and he was the one that you were seeing running around here anyways viewers thank you so much for being with us right here on prime morning my name is Cecilia dua akumia